Indeed. We move on to the um, Sabutio World Cup. And uh, it takes place in, uh, in Kent this weekend. And uh, they've got uh, teams coming from all over uh, the world to uh, take part. You can imagine they've got players coming from Australia, Brazil, Singapore, Japan. Got a player from the Ukraine taking part and get a bit tasty apparently. There's a little bit of argy bargy, low level. I, I, I like the fact the that players. the sponsors, Weetabix, I would like to mention them, yeah. have laid on a finger physio. Oh, really? That's <laughs> good. Very specialised. That is very good to hear. But um, I imagine one of the tough jobs is commentating on Sabudio. And uh, one of the people tasked with doing that this weekend is a friend of the show. Games expert, broadcast next, which town fan it is our old mate Jonathan Beals. Good afternoon, Bealsy. Good afternoon, Paul. Good afternoon, Andy. How did you land this gig? Well, I've been playing for Sabudio for a couple of years now. Yeah. And... Um, I know the guys who run the, the English Computer Association and we sort of got talking at the beginning of the year um, and, you know, we sort of suggested that it, it might be quite a good idea that I get involved. So, uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's just developed from there, really, but it's, uh, it's, it's very different to conversation on, on traditional football or video games. It's a bit analogue for you, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, you're known as your, for your sort of... You're Mr. State of the Art. Yeah. You're all flicking little plastic figures around. <laughs> on that is that it's all about eye-to-hand coordination on, on both things because the Sabutio, you know, is still, you know, very much, it's, it's, it's such a great day. When you, when you see it played properly or you try and play it properly like I do, it's a cross between football, chess and snooker because you're, 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 you're flicking your players, you're looking at positional play, you're getting your players into position, you need to get them back into position and now it's, it's it's played in sort of two different styles. You've got people who will play in a very slow, methodic approach, much like football. When you have when you look at when you watch Serie A games, you know the Italian game is a lot lot slower compared to say the Premier League, which is fast and furious. And so you ha you have other players like the elite players who will play it very 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 fast. So from a commentary perspective, you know you you can't always do it on a ball by ball approach. You know, you have to do it on a, on a much sort of wider picture. And then, but working with a, with a, a, an assessor, you know, it, it, it sort of adds a, a, an extra layer to it. But, you know, it, it's still good fun. And I mean, I was playing some video before I was playing video games, but um, both, both have their place in the world. So totally, it's a brilliant, it's a brilliant have, thing. Have you been doing your research, Jonathan? I mean, uh, what's really, obviously, I take it all these countries will, uh, do they come up with their own teams? Do they represent their nation yeah. at the World Cup? How does it work? Well, you've got well. How it works at the moment is that uh, Italy are the holders. They won it in Rome in 2022, mm. uh, and they are famous because Bhutan and Italy is taken very, very seriously. Some of the Serie A teams have have, have their own Sabutio teams they, they, that they sponsor. But it's you know it, it's a whole new level. They they just take it so seriously. Um, so you've got Italy as the favourites, you've got um, Belgium who are very strong, England are very strong as well. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm very confident about the English team. Um, we've got some good players. There's one guy called um, Elliot Belafontaine, uh, who's absolutely fantastic, plays a very, very fast game. His dad plays um, Martin, a great guy, and he's obviously coached his son, Elliot. Um, Elliot is, is in the senior elite. Um, and then Elliot's sister Frankie also plays in the women's team because you've got a, 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 a sort of senior elite team a tournament. Then you've got the under 12s, the under 16s, the under 20s, and you've got a ladies team. So it's it's a very inclusive event, and you've got those kind of five tournaments like running um, concurrently throughout Saturday and Sunday. And then on Friday you've got the old flat. Do you remember the flat where you had that? Those little cardboard players. Oh yeah, played on uh, played on cloth pitches. Two D. Yeah, two D. Well, yeah. getting even more analog. Oh, yeah, that's amazing. Oh, yeah. I, mean, yeah. I mean, that was before my time. Yes. And um, so, so certainly not before my time. No, I only remembers <laughs> that. Yeah. And the thing so is, I, I, I was looking at Jonathan online and uh, watching it. And the, the interesting thing about it was, it looked like Sabuja that I played, but. They're playing so much quicker. Every move yeah. is really quick. So you oh, yeah. have, have to be on it, Jonathan, if you're commentating, aren't you? You have to oh, know, concentrate. Oh, very much so. Oh, yeah. You can't. You can't just mm. you know start playing on your phone or start nodding off. Um, <laughs> it, 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 it's like in, in the modern game now. Like 
in, in, in the flats and in, and in the old Sabutio, you have round bases, so you could you could flick the players and they would spin around, and there was there was a whole different level of skill in that. In the modern game, the uh, player bases, they've been kind of sawn off at the bottom, so, so they're flat. So it's played in straight lines. And that game in the modern game, players will, will, will polish their players before they play, right. just to give that little bit of extra, a uh, little bit of extra speed. Right. Um, but, it, yeah, but again, it, it's, a, it's a completely different type of skill. It's a great skill. Um, but then, you know, different players will uh, adapt their styles of play according to mm -hmm. what, what, what they want to do. In, but, you know, in the senior tournament, I understand the Italians are very good. The, the Belgians have a great youth system, mm -hmm. we learned today, in a, in a piece of the sun. So, yeah. uh, Do you get a lot of breakages? I mean, I remember always stamping on the players or kneeling on them. You know? you're then there to, is that a, a sort of concussion sub if you kneel on their head or something? <laughs> <Can> you, <laughs> you're allowed to do you that? Do get, yeah, you don't really, you don't really get the breakages. I mean, there's... there's um, I mean, it's, it's a huge event. You've got yeah. 300 tables. It, it's uh, it, it's in it's in Tunbridge Wells Sports Centre. Uh, it's free to get in. There's been some very good support from the local authorities. They've, they've really got behind it. Yeah. Um, and you've got like about 48 tables set up, so you can have 48 p uh, players playing all the way through. So there, there's a lot going yeah. on. And, but it's you know it's not just like a casual event. It's going to be refereed correctly, yeah. um, and you know it's all all working to a timetable um, and, and a feeding situation. So you know the, like the, the whole thing is, is is a really good event, and it's all mm -hmm. you know all, all credit to uh, the guys at the. Oh, we yeah. lost Jonathan there. I tell you, we'll get him back on Monday. We'll get a report and find out who wins. We've lost his line there. Didn't stop Bob and Arbro saying, is the Joey, Jonathan's back, sorry, yeah. So we will get you back. We're going to wrap up now. We'll get you back on Monday, Jonathan. We'll get a full yeah, report on what went on. <laughs> right. Nice one. We'll yeah, catch all the best. No, no, we know you're still Yeah, there. we know you're still there. We're we'll, talking to you. We'll, we'll catch up with you now. We'll catch up with you on Monday, Jonathan. <laughs> 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 <laughs>